Oh my God, it's good to be back on the road. Oh my God, this is, oh my God, yes. Woo, come on. Let's go and get some diesel. Let's fill up. Let go. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, let me stop there. Man, I've never been so happy in my entire life. So, today's lesson is today. Got that phone call today. Oh, thank God, man. The trucks is basically back on the road. That's not what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So today, right now, I'm going to get some diesel. I'm going to fill up both tanks. Uh, we are going to Kenton to uh, Illinois. So we're going to be hauling out of Kenton in Illinois. We're going to haul a bunch of soybeans. So there we have it. Now, oh man, let's see. Like I said, this is a stress reliever for me. Even though I'm back making money, and now you already know what that means. So you already know that there's gonna be some more stuff coming to the yard. So, but not right now, but uh, I'm gonna say give it about July, August, maybe. Anyway, no, just regard what I was saying, but, but yeah, this is like a stress reliever for me. Uh, just get in a truck and just go, man. I mean, uh, I done dealt with a lot of stuff over the over the weeks and over the year. So I'm just gonna pick my head up and get in the truck. Man, and just keep on trucking, baby, baby, baby. I gotta keep on trucking. <laughs> I'm happy, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> And there we are. Thanks, so, baby. All right. <sighs> Got to go ahead and pay first because it's prepaid. So let's go ahead and get it done. Right. Now that I prepaid. Diesel in it. All right, now she's pumping. So, what we gonna do? I'm gonna get in this truck and stay cool. And I got me a little snack. Of course. Well, I'm now at 23 gallons now 24 gallons so anyway that's enough talking about that so uh so uh let's bring up the speed what's going on so i got the seat to the fix so everything's ready to go i got it swapped over to the hook to my service truck so that way when it's time for me to go and get them seeds uh i'm going to get them so first day monday or oh, well actually as soon as it dries up after the rain or whatever, I'm going to get some seeds. But until then, I'm in the truck. And I will not be disturbed. Y'all will see a whole different side of me. Because of this truck is running. This is where the bread and butter is. This is why I guess y'all say y'all go crazy going buying stuff, upgrade stuff. It's the truck. So uh, I was talking to somebody earlier today and I said you gonna do anything that's drastic for your channel I said yeah actually I've already done it I just ain't told nobody I haven't went and did anything meaning I haven't went and got it technically it's still up there I'm not going to tell you what it is, but y'all just got to watch the channel. When I say I'm leading y'all into something, I'm leading y'all into something. So, but right there, 
We're not gonna talk about that. We're talking about the planting and the spraying. So right now the sprayer is ready, it's ready to go. Pull the fuel. I still need to put some diesel in the tractor and fill it up. That way it'll be ready to go. So first chance when it dries up over here on my end, I will be uh, planting and I will be spraying. Uh, so now I have to, now since the truck and trailer is back up and running, the haul is back up and running. So now I gotta work in between shifts. Is that what I say? So I got a haul time, then I got the plant. So how I'm gonna do that? Where I'm going, I can only get two runs. So it's going 200 miles going and 200 miles coming back. Well, knowing me, I'm gonna knock out every last one of them. Hopefully, I can get three. But when I get back, I'm gonna plant some and then I'm gonna spray some. Of course, it already be dark, so I'll probably just spray first. Even though I already sprayed, so I would drive the friendship and get that out of the way. And, oh, hold on, let me go to the other side. I ain't even hear the thing stop. I was close. Two hundred dollars fill this side up. Clear diesel, y'all. Sometimes you gotta squeeze that diesel in there, batten it up. Oh. We're gonna stop it at 14. It's already there. So I did, I pumped both sides. And we go. Oh. So I pumped both sides. So I got both of them full. So that the both tanks was empty. So that's what it costs to fill a day cab up right there. So we are at 112 gallons. Hey, that's pretty good. I am thankful that the fuel is going down. That's awesome. Like literally awesome. It ain't like it was last year. Now last year, now last year that joker was about right at $6. And I was, oh my God, you talking about, woo. Let me get out of these folks right now. I know somebody's trying to come and get some diesel. And I need to go get some death. The next day. Now I have a theory. Don't be afraid to change, because change is coming anyway. You know, everything changes, nothing remains the same. Nothing. And change is inevitable. Now you can participate in the change or you can react to the change. Are you following me? You can participate in the change or you can react to the change. But don't be afraid to change because change is coming anyway. Okay, and the uh, phone call was coming in and uh, anyway, uh, I wanted nobody to see companies and great hearts. Shout out to you. Uh, but so anyway. right now, let me, let me tell you what's happening right now. So right now I'm in Kenton, Tennessee. We are at the granary, and we are loading up with beans. Uh, at first, I was loading up with corn because they had to clear that green bin right there out because it had some corn in there left. And they put it on me, and then I sent it to the other side of this green bin here. On the other side, there's like three more on the, three big ones on the other side of this one right here. 
And so I unloaded that and then came reweighed and came back around and that's why I'm right here. So but yeah, uh I'm just sitting here and just ma'am, I'm just the thought of it that I am glad and I'm happy that we are back running and man I'm gonna tell you. Uh it's just a joy it just came my confidence went from here and went through the roof you know like oh man yes because uh, if a lot of you drivers out here if you know you know i mean <laughs> i mean it's it's money to be made i mean like i said drivers you know you know i mean that's, that's the reason why i'm out here i prefer being out here more than i do been out there on the farm because uh yeah you make a little money out on the farm but you know not like this but uh that's why i always say man load the wagon load the wagon so this run right here is going to cairo uh cairo gen that is in illinois i'm not for sure what county that in that's in but uh, one of the Edward Farms trucks is right in front of me right here. Well, it's two of them. It's just, uh, uh, it's just me and him, you know, two of his drivers and me. And so I'm gonna trail them going out there to Illinois, even though this is my first time even going out there. Well, actually I've been out there before, but that was back in, uh, 06, 05, 06 maybe. And just to refresh my memory, I don't remember how to get over there. But, you know, according to one of Edward Farm drivers, they said some roads have been un done changed over the over the years. And so I haven't seen it. So I know what the granary looks like, but I don't know the road. So anyway, so we're gonna wait until I get loaded right here. I don't know what's taking so long, but like I said, we loading soybeans out of Kenton and we headed to Illinois. So until I get loaded, we'll bring back to the video again. So we're gonna vlog, we're gonna have this video right here. We're gonna vlog all the way through from front to back, front to back. And then that's gonna be it. Well, I'm getting loaded y'all, soybeans. There we go. You know, I'm sitting here watching my uh, traffic light. So he's gonna tell me to move up here in a minute. But that's soybeans right there. So the traffic light I'm looking for is right there. So it's gonna turn a different color here in a minute. So he's telling me to go. So I need to move up. Gonna tell me to stop here in a second. And then that's it. Then to get loaded, and then go up here and get my ticket right there. Uh, other than that, so let me go on here. Let's stop talking. Let's get loaded, and as soon as I get on the highway, we finna vlog some more. All right, follow one of them farm trucks. Any day in the north. Cannot drive. People that cannot drive.
Got all kind of green stuff down here. Meanwhile. Where have you got? We done made it. K-Wo, Illinois. I don't know what kind of line. We got a line back there, and then we also got a line up front around there. So this is the building right here, I guess. I'm assuming. <clears throat> I'm going to pull up. Looks like we're pulling up some more. So let's take it out. Not that bad of a line, I don't think. It's like six trucks up ahead, right here in front of Elba Farms truck. Yeah. It ain't bad. So that wasn't bad, too bad of a drive. Uh, it was more, uh, Pulling a lot of hills and curves and things, mountains and all like that. Something I ain't never experienced. I mean, you know, in the trucking industry, man, you experience a whole lot of things, man. A lot of hills, a lot of sharp curves, and uh, man, they had a pretty uh, river over there while I was crossing that bridge. I'm gonna uh, uh, show y'all when I go back. And right when I was crossing the bridge, the phone rung, and it was my wife. So she out shopping, and uh, she was just checking in, make sure I made it okay. So shout out to you, baby. Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, this this is this is what's up, man. Cause hey, like I said, man, I enjoy this. This is this is my passion. This is what I love to do. See, now you see how happy I am right now. See, my stress level went completely gone. I mean, completely down. Well, I wasn't stressed, but, you know, very little. But I wasn't really stressed. But y'all see how happy I am, man. I'm. This is where the money is. I mean, like, seriously. This is this is how I make my money. And, uh, so usually when you see me in a truck, so if this goes on for the next 30 days... Then remember, those of y'all that know me already, and when I talked about how do I make my money and how do I spend my money, I actually said that in the blog uh, last year, about a couple blogs back last year, and, and I showed everybody how I did it, and that's the method I do. So that's why I say probably like July, maybe August, I mean, who knows, but every 30 days, or every other 30 days, I always buy something. And that's just me. Because, uh, like I said, I don't spend money. I don't, I just don't do none of that. Uh, I'm real, because of the simple fact, I'm real big on personal finance, if, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm real big on budgeting. Budget. Ugh, budget. King. Budget. I'm real big on budget. And and that's what I do, and I'm real I'm real good at that. And you know, if you understand personal finance, then uh, I'm pretty sure you you understand what to do from there. So that's pretty much it, man. I mean, you know, I'm happy, I'm thankful, I thank God that I'm out here, I'm back on the road because it's been two months since we've been been sitting still and that's terrible man and due to the fact the market is down and a lot of a lot of y'all farmers need to turn y'all grain in man <laughs> that's what's keeping us sitting still because y'all not bringing y'all grain to the granary which is understandable because uh the market's not where it need to be and you know the, uh people said the contract need to be filled and there's a lot of farmers out there here in west tennessee ain't even filled their contract and they still they still waiting on the farmers to fill them and 
that's what caused us to it is so the more that y'all don't bring your grain in the more we sat down the more we sit still if that makes sense so see like right now here it is uh may and we are hauling soybeans already we should have been done with these soybeans last year but we are hauling soybeans and see now we back up and running now after the soil see we haven't even touched the corn so and then we have to make room to get everybody wheat in and see well, not only we have soybeans we also have corn to get out and wheat and then uh, not explain the public jobs I have to do you know I do haul for other folks uh, other farmers so and by the way if y'all looking for a hauler this year all this year if y'all looking for somebody very dependable and wanting to haul so put your name down in the link down in the description down below or even just go to my Facebook market right here I mean either just go to my Facebook uh, right here and you can find me from there and then y'all can just message me right there if y'all want to be private with it and I'm okay with it I mean uh, I won't disclose you uh, if y'all don't want to be filmed out there on the farm just let me know and uh, you know I, I do respect people's wishes uh, you know a lot of farmers I learned that the hard way last year because there's quite a few farmers didn't like didn't like their stuff out there and which uh, I didn't know but you know so now I know so like I said it's a learning experience so that's the reason I say I always ask first and if you don't want you know certain stuff to be viewed you know just let me know I mean you know I'm okay with that uh, I'm perfectly fine with that you know I respect everybody's wishes uh, and I just want to do the right thing with everybody so like I said if if y'all looking for uh, a hauler, a very dependable hauler, uh, y'all just give me a shout because the way farm is right here for you. I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm supposed to get prong right there. And then I got to tell them people I'm going to have to get a card just like that. Right there. I think. Or well, if not, I'm about to get one of these right here. So this right here is all the Tyson. And then when I go to the rivers, got Bungie. That's that's uh, Hickman right there. And this is Bungie and uh, Dyersburg. So I got to get a card right here for that one. Got ticket number zero zero one six two three seven. So that's the things you have to go through. You gotta apply for a card. So now I have Tyson, which means this would be Humboldt, Dyer, Kenton. All right. Uh, this one right here, this is Bungie. This is the river. This would be in Dyersburg, the river. All right. This would be Hickman, Kentucky. Uh, that, that would be at the river also. Now I have a Cargill, Illinois. So... So everywhere I go, I scan. I'm just, I ain't doing no more collecting cards. <laughs> y'all that pit right there got a big mouth 
It don't take long to unload. I got. Just look at that. I go to Rebel. Now, this is narrow as crap. I don't know what engineer built this bridge, but y'all need y'all butt kick for this. Well, there go the barges, and there go another barge. I gotta pay attention to this narrow bridge. Just talking, y'all. Let me set up. 